Oh, welcome back here. Uh, we'll be working on Bohemian square number two here. Let's talk about the collaging part. Um, as you can see, I have a piece of gingham here in the back, just a scrap. This uh, woven black fabric here, there's actually two pieces on the background. This is a scarf, okay? Uh, this little piece here that has the silver thread in it is a piece of a scarf also. This little purple part here with little uh, glitzy things in on it, uh, that's part of a t-shirt. The black here is part of a sheer blouse that has some really delicate embroidery on it which is, makes it really pretty. Okay. Uh, these yo-yos I've had around uh, in a drawer forever. Uh, I use them along as I find a, the right place for them. So they're, they've been there. They were cut off of a garment several years ago. And uh, I don't use a lot of yo-yos, so <clears throat> I, I still have some. Uh, again, uh, these strips through here, uh, these are what I cut off the edges when I'm cutting it down to the size of the batting. And I don't throw them away, I incorporate them and I put them in there. Uh, now this this was a scrap and it still had part of the seam on it. And a little bit later I'm going to add a couple of elements to this and uh, show you how I'm going to incorporate this uh, seam in there. Uh, so make sure you stay uh, with me all the way through for that, okay? Alright, right now what I'm doing is I've got it pinned down. I have attached a couple of the yo-yos, but I haven't done much else. Right now, I'm going uh, attaching around the edge, getting uh, it sewn down so my uh, fabric doesn't fray more and my pieces uh, don't shift on me on that outer edges. So uh, that's what I'll be doing now. I'm going to do this um, off camera and come back and uh, work with it a little bit more uh, when there's something a little more interesting to talk about, okay? See you in a little bit. Okay, I've done a little bit more and I wanted to show you uh, what I'm going to do with this little bit of a seam scrap that was coming off of this piece right here. I'm going, I have a fabric bead that's in a perfect shade of purple and uh, these I make myself <clears throat> and I make them up with again a little uh, scraps strips and then a little trim around it and it's glued around actually a straw and uh, that gives me an opening large enough to put yarns and different bigger pieces of fabric through and then it's also I can even sew through it. Uh, straw isn't that thick, so I can uh, I can flatten it out if I want to. I can leave it uh, in its round shape if I want to. I also put a little piece of fabric here with a little tassel in to hang down here. And uh, I've finished the uh, sewing around. I've uh, sewn these down and I've, I've tacked a lot of this, but I'm still sewing in here and uh, getting these elements down. Uh, let me uh, show you how I'm going to do this uh, bead. Uh, again, I gotta th thread this needle. Okay, got it. The first thing I'm going to do is just secure this bead down so that I can go ahead and, and work some more. So what I'm going to do, because it is a straw and it has a pretty good size opening, I'm going to come up from the bottom, through the bottom, right next to that uh, bottom part there. How do we pull that out? Let's see. Okay, I want to separate it a little bit from that purple 
part up top so that it shows better. Okay, now I've got that thread up close to it. Now I'm gonna go inside and through the straw itself to secure it. Okay, I don't necessarily go a long ways through it. I just try to go through the edge of the straw at the ends. That way it's, it's attached strong enough and I don't have to thread, thread all the way through, okay? Now I can come and do the same thing on this end. Okay, I'm at that end. I'm going to go down through the inside bottom of the straw. And that's attaching that very strongly, okay? One more time. Sometimes because this is a raised element, it can be uh, hit or knocked you know when and uh, so you don't want it coming off or yanking so get it uh, on there good okay that is on there good all right now while I'm over here I'm going to use this thread to tack down the part that's coming out okay we'll get it sewed down And I'll come in here and uh, get this little part, this little tassel part here. Oops. Well, we'll just leave him in there. I like him. I'm going to add some eyelash trim in a minute. So um, we'll see where that goes. Well, we're getting just right down to the end. Can you see what I've been doing on here? Uh, I did a little cross stitching in there, but I've uh, just basically tacked everything down. Not too many stitches showing, but there are stitches that show throughout and uh, little, little bits here and there. But uh, I'm really liking that. Let's get this last pin out of there. Uh, I love the color play. I like all the black and white. It's very cool looking. I think it's weighted well. I think it's got enough on it uh, for me. And uh, so I'm going to call this one done. And um, I hope you enjoyed this Bohemian Square. Again, it's with uh, all kinds of textile scraps. Uh, from different sources and mostly thrifting and so uh, if you haven't thought about uh, thrifting to um, start collecting different items for your collages and things well that's a good thing to do you can find so many embellishments and fabrics there that just really work well when you're trying to do things like this okay till next time uh, We'll do another square soon. Thanks for watching and stay scrap happy.